Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. I'm Katie and welcome back to Singing for Instrumentalists. Today we are going to talk about jaw tension. So I do work with a number of students where they do carry a lot of tension in their jaw with their clenching like this and they're singing this way and it's very, very tight and they're not able to sing freely or open up the upper part of their range because their jaw is tight. They're putting unnecessary pressure on their larynx right here and the inside of their inside of their mouths those muscles are going to be tight as well so we're going to work on releasing that tension today so first let's talk about jaw clenching make sure that when you're singing that your jaw is nice and loose so you can move it from side to side uh, make sure that it's just nice and loose and when you're opening up your mouth make sure that the lower part of your jaw is nice and loose and it's natural you shouldn't feel like you're hyperextending your jaw. If you feel like it hurts, then make sure it's just a little bit less than what you were doing. Should feel very, very natural, very, very loose. Now, another thing that I've seen is that when people open their jaws, they actually jut them forward this way. And that will put a lot of unnecessary pressure on your larynx and tighten certain muscles around here. It's going to make you just work harder. So you want to make sure that your jaw is nice and loose and opening down and not jutting forward. Uh, how can you tell if it's jutting forward? You could take your hand, place it gently on your chin. You're not going to push at all. And when you sing, ah, make sure that it is <laughs> in, rather out. Ah, you'll feel your jaw pushing out. Also singing in front of a mirror is very, very key, especially when I'm working with my students. I always have them sing in front of a mirror. I have a mirror in my studio. At first it feels awkward, but they are really, really grateful for that mirror once they start working on their technique because then I can see what they're doing because my piano is here, the mirror is here, my student is behind me, and then they can also see what's going on as well. So singing in front of a mirror, it's not egotistical. You're just trying to see if you're using proper technique. I've also seen some people take their fingers, lace them behind their neck very gently, don't push, and then take their thumbs and put them right here like this. And as they sing, they're making sure that it is in a relaxed state. Their jaw is just moving up and down very freely and not jutting forward. So this next exercise is going to be sung on an E and then gently opening up to an A. Ah. And when we have the E, A, ah, I hope you noticed that my jaw was still open on the E and then it slightly opened more on the A, ah, but it was already open in a relaxed state. E, A, ah, and I didn't hyperextend my jaw. Very, very relaxed and it's not jutting forward. E ah, this way. So I'm going to start on a C, middle C. You could start on something lower if you're practicing by yourself or a little bit higher. Depends upon your vocal range and your comfort level. So it will be e ah, e ah. So if you noticed, very nice and relaxed, open, and it wasn't he -ya. <laughs> My jaw was relatively stationary. It was just hanging open, nice and loose. You will notice maybe a few bobbles here and there, but they're not going to be significant. All right, so you want to try to keep it as loose as possible. He -ya. If you are tight, this is what it's going to sound like. He -ya. That's the corners of my mouth, and they're this way. It's like you're, you have a, a weird smile on your face, and you're like, oh, really, really uncomfortable. He -ya. Almost like ventriloquy, <laughs> like that. Uh, another one would be that if you are too far back, do you hear that? You have to think of your air coming up and over like a gentle wave. And you're placing the sound right around here. Imagine the sound coming out of this part of your face, hmm, like this way, or right here out of the top of your head like dolphins do. So we have Try that with me. Hee-yah. 
So from here you could also descend, you could go up, you could go down, but just make sure that the focus of this vocal exercise is to loosen the jaw, making sure it's not flapping in the wind as you sing each ah, okay? Now there's another one that completely disengages the jaw and it's ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I did change vowels. Did you, did you hear that? I switched vowels, but my jaw did not move. Did you see that? My tongue was doing all of the work. So nice tongue, it's very loose. I'm gonna place my hands here just to make sure that my neck muscles are nice and loose and my jaw isn't doing anything funky. So I have ah, ee, ah, ee, ah. So I'm singing an ah and then my tongue lifts forward very gently to create the E. Ah, ee, ah, ee, ah. All right, let's try that again. Okay, now with this exercise. I'm switching between the A and E quite frequently. If this is going to be too much for you, let's break it down to something just a little bit more simple. Um, also, if this is causing any strain here with your tongue, skip this one. Go with the first one. So we have keep the jaw open and loose and disengaged let the tongue do the work Remember, to go slowly, don't be a hero. The, the purpose of the exercise is to make sure that you're loosening the jaw, making sure that it's opening up so that your vocal track is open, so that you're letting the sound come out freely rather than hinder it with tight muscles. And uh, maybe your tongue's in the way and your lips are in the way. Just open it up and let it go, let it go. All right, I will see you in the next one. If you want more jaw loosening exercises, those are going to be available on my Patreon. So I hope to see you there and I will see you in the next one. Bye. If you want some more guided exercises, I have those on my Patreon page. Make sure you visit that and I will see you in the next one. Bye.